obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will investigate shockwave CFD simulation in supersonic airflow. A shockwave is a type of propagating disturbance that moves faster than the local speed of sound in the medium. Like an ordinary wave, a shockwave carries energy and can propagate through a medium, but is characterized by an abrupt, nearly discontinuous, change in pressure, temperature, and density of the medium. Shockwaves are formed when a pressure front moves at supersonic speeds and pushes the surrounding air. At the region where this occurs, sound waves traveling against the flow reach a point where they cannot travel any further upstream and the pressure progressively builds in that region. In other words, when an object moves faster than the information can propagate into surrounding fluid, the fluid near the object cannot react, or namely, get out of the way before the object arrives, hence the shock wave occurs. The target of this project is to simulate the supersonic airflow encountered by a two-way optic airfoil barrier passing through a channel, thus investigating fluid behavior and creating a shock wave phenomenon. The airflow in the simulation environment around the obstacles and canals has a temperature of 129.46 Kelvin and a Mach number of 2.49, and the direction of the airflow is generally assumed to be in the same direction. Mach number is a non-dimensional number that indicates the ratio of fluid velocity to the sound velocity in the same fluid. This number is usually used when the velocity of the fluid flow is close to the sound velocity or more. In this project, ultrasonic airflow hits a diagonal barrier in its path and then passes through the inner space of the square channel and then the collision with the sharp barrier creates a shock wave. The present 3D model is drawn using the Design Modeler software. The geometry structure of the model includes a rectangular space for airflow and a double wedge airfoil barrier and a square channel with a wedge inside. The meshing of the present model is done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is unstructured and the element number is equal to 4,466,855. The size of the grid in the area adjacent to the barriers and channels is a smaller for accuracy. By clicking on the Report Quality dialog box, you will see that in the Console tab, the Fluent software will start to check your mesh quality. For example, you will see that the Fluent software will give you the orthogonal quality and as maximum aspect ratio. You may double click on the Display dialog box and a new window will appear. Which, may, which gives you the ability to choose between the different parts of your geometry you want to show in the Fluent software. In the appeared window, you may choose between different parts of your geometry to show or not show just by clicking on them. Here, we double click on the Units dialog box and a new window will appear just like before. In the Open dialog box, we are able to change the settings of our material. For example, in this dialog box, which is related to the air, we can see that the density and the CP specific heat, thermal conductivity, viscosity are shown. Since we are simulating the compressible flow in this project, we need to go ahead and change the density from the constant to ideal gas. After clicking on edit on the previous window, a new window will appear, making you able to change the Mach number of this boundary. After clicking on edit for this wall type, boundary condition, then a new window will pop up, enabling us to change settings for this boundary condition. By clicking on thermal tab, you will see that the thermal condition for this wall is considered to be coupled, which means that this wall is facing fluids on both of its sides. After clicking on edit for this wall type boundary condition, then a new window will pop up enabling us to change settings for this boundary condition. Like previous steps, after clicking on Thermal tab, you will see that the thermal condition defined for this boundary is set to be heat flux, and the value for heat flux is defined as zero, which means that this boundary is also adiabatic. After double-clicking on the residual button, you will see that a new window will appear, showing you the absolute criteria for the residuals of each equation. For example, you can see the 
absolute criteria for continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. This criteria refers to the difference between the errors of each iteration, and it refers to the fact that if the error is less than these criteria, those equations have reached convergence. Also, as you can see, the convergence criterion is set, is set to be in absolute form. As was mentioned earlier in the introduction part, shock wave occurs when a body is moving faster than the speed of the sound in a fluid. Now in a subsonic flow, the propagating pressure wave have enough time to inform the upstream flow to change their direction in order to path around the object. However, in a supersonic flow, the object is moving faster than these pressure waves and not letting the fluid to change its direction. A shock wave occurs when the Mach number, which is over 1, drops below 1 in a sudden move. As can be seen in this contour, the speed of the flow is over 1 Mach. After the flow hits the object, the flow's Mach number suddenly decreases and drops below 1, which causes the normal shock to happen. As you can see in this picture, the shock wave envelopes have formed. As can be seen in the pressure contour, the Pressure propagating waves are built up near the position of shock waves. It should be mentioned that shock waves are inevitable and they happen at all time. But aerodynamic engineers are trying their best to prevent it from happening since it has some detrimental effects on the body. For example, in uh, aeroplanes, they make the airfoils a little sharper and uh, they also swept the wings so that the intensity of this uh, of these shock waves reduces and the less drag is applied upon the body finally a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide alongside the ideal gas equation which is our main equation and we have based our premises and assumption on this equation. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at